Carroll County firefighter taking an unusual approach to improving training for his fire department. And it involves a big piece of movie memorabilia from Jurassic Park, The Lost World. We're talking about the Hummer that outmaneuvered dinosaurs in the film. Cody Mayfield here with Carroll County Fire Rescue colleagues, Eric King, Johnny Baker, thank you for getting up so early with us, appreciate it. Okay, how does one get their hands on a Hummer from the movie anyway? Take us through it. So I bought it from my cousin. Okay. Uh, he owned it for years and uh, he had plenty of people wanting to buy it. Sure. He didn't want to sell it to just anybody. He wanted it to be uh, restored back to the uh, original movie, uh, the way it was in the movie. So. You know, I had a shop and asked me if I wanted to do it. And um, from us restoring it, we actually wanted to take it and do something else with it. What kind of work did you did you do to it? Um, completely restored the whole thing from wow. paint, engine, interior. Everything was completely restored. It was pretty pretty destroyed in the in the movie. Right. You had. I mean, it was out maneuvering dinosaurs. I think I saw it airborne at one point. Airborne. It rolled. <laughs> it completely rolled over yeah. in the movie. So yeah, a lot of work. So what is the plan now that it has been refurbished and ready to go? Um, the plan is to build a uh, mobile training center for our fire department. Sure. Um, that's the, uh, the ultimate goal here and I uh, want to use this piece of equipment to try to help the community get on board and let us, you know, get us to build this training center. That's awesome. So this will be a raffle so people can have a chance to have this or else go on a vacation as well. What kind of impact would this uh, mobile training center have for the department? Um, a huge impact. Uh, we love to train and, and the trailer is going to have some equipment that we don't actually have uh, to train with so um, it would just be it would just be huge to have some different equipment to train on and uh, these guys uh, we, we all love to train so that's what it's all about. And that brings me to uh, Johnny, Eric, what kind of difference do you think it would mean for to have something mobile? You're not going to a standalone building. I mean, you have people coming from all over for training, right? Right. Yes. So uh, for it being mobile, I think it'll be easier for the department stuff pulling people out of the station and leaving the zone open. Sure. We can also cover that zone and be able to respond quick, have a quicker response time from than a different destination. For sure. And uh, what do you think, I mean, to be a part of something so big like this? A lot of interest from the community? Absolutely. I, th I think it's going to be huge for our department and our community as a whole. Uh, it's going to enable us to be able to go to different stations with, with particular people and, and train on specific things that we don't often get the chance to do on, on the job. So it's going to help us sharpen those skills and, and, and create repetition to uh, to help us perform our job. at a Real life scenarios. Uh, absolutely. Awesome. You know, I was at a police graduation ceremony a couple years ago and they said, if you wanted to be loved, you should have been a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your service. Thank and you. I love absolutely. this new effort. Uh, Cody, Eric, and Johnny with the Carroll County Fire Department, thanks for being here this morning. And you can get a chance to own the Hummer H1 or if that's not your speed, go ahead and pick cash and a fantastic vacation instead. Where's the vacation to? Oh, uh, well, that's, I guess, their, their choice. We're going to put a limit, let them decide where they want to go. Okay, raffle tickets are available, and a lucky winner will be picked this Thanksgiving.